we have already studied the first experiment of sonometer that was to verify first law of vibrating string nl is equal to constant today we will go for studying the second experiment of sonometer very popularly called as sonometer 2 experiment in which we are trying to find the relationship between the tension in the wire and the vibrating length for a fixed tuning form in general mathematical way of representing that is said that t by l squared is equal to constant we can also say it as m by l squared is equal to constant we will first of all have a look at the formula if you have a look at the formula the fundamental frequency of transverse vibrations of a stretched wire is given by n is equal to 1 upon 2l root of t by m where n is the frequency of the wire which is vibrating in unison with the tuning fork t is equal to capital m into g is tension in the string where g of course is a constant value acceleration due to gravity l is the vibrating length of the wire in unison with the tuning fork small m is linear density of the wire now in this particular experiment we will not change the frequency n and wire is also not changed so even that mass per unit length m remains constant so when these two things remain constant in my formula i can see that it is when n and m remains constant root t divided by l is supposed to be equal to constant or if i square both sides i find t by l squared is equal to constant where t itself is equal to m into g and because g is constant m by l squared is equal to constant so i have to verify that m upon l squared remains constant in this particular experiment in this experiment we are going to choose one any one very nicely vibrating tuning fork i have chosen here in this case a tuning fork of 480 hertz here and now i start performing the experiment as usual once again we have a sonometer setup and a paper rider is kept on the wire i have kept the vibrating length little less and the weight attached to the hanger that hanger plus 500 gram it is 500 plus 500 so totally 1000 gram weight is attached to this wire the distance between the two knife edges is kept minimum we always ensure that the knife edges have to touch this wire while we move it so it is here now i start vibrating this tuning fork and as i start increasing this length i have to find some suitable vibrating length for which the paper rider starts fluttering and it actually falls down so it is falling for this length i'll check it once again whether it is falling for a very proper reason it is jumping so this gives me my vibrating length i can actually measure my vibrating length from 1 cm to this is 18 so overall it's 17 cm length i have got it as these lengths are not standard they can vary with respect to the wire which is been used in the experiment and of course the tension now for taking second reading i add one more 500 gram weight to the wire so it is attached here now the tension has all together become 1500 gram weight for the same length now i start vibrating the tuning fork and to my surprise i find the paper rider is not vibrating even i'll have to slowly increase this length and try to find such a particular length where the paper rider then starts fluttering and will fall down so i guess it has started vibrating it is vibrating it seems and it has fallen you can measure this length once again l1 l2 mean l then go for adding one more 500 gram weight this i'll add one more 500 gram weight i'm going to add to this and then 
I'll once again find whether the paper rider actually falls. What I find is, as I keep on adding weight, the vibrating length keeps increasing. Here the paper rider has fallen down. I'll just check it once again. It has fallen down. You can measure what this length is. In each and every case, it is 23.5. In each and every case, what we are going to do is find for each mass of 500, 1000, 1500, 2000, 2500, whatever are the readings of vibrating lengths, you find their square and find what is value of m by l squared in each case and you will find that the value of m by l squared is almost remaining a constant term which verifies the second law of vibrating string as well. Okay, thank you.